guys, how's it going? I know we're a little late coming to the game, but that's that's my fault. Um, we went and hung out at my buddy's house for a little while to work on the car a little bit, and uh, here we are. So we're here in the list, and I'm super excited for that. And you know why? Because today's the giveaway. Today's the giveaway. Hey, well, it's going to be exciting. We're getting everything shared out right here real quick. Um, that way, uh, everybody has an equal and proper chance to watch. We will be doing the uh, giveaway shortly into this. Um, we're setting everything, get everything shared uh, out. <laughs> I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this giveaway. It's been a long time coming. I'm super, super excited. So. Hopefully, it goes great. Um, all right, so we're going to share it out to Facebook and Twitter, as usual. And share it to Facebook. I hope everybody is having a great night. Uh, I am. It's been so fun. Yes, there it is. And I come home and got everything situated. The account that I was going to use, I had to change up. But I want to tell everybody at the same time, so I'm getting there. Uh, let's go ahead and pop in onto Facebook here and go live. Down there, sit up up here, clean the camera. There we go. Now, everybody has an opportunity to be watching. I gotta turn my brightness up on my phone that way I can see all of your lovely comments. Yeah, pause. Do the right thing. There we go. It's being weird. There we go. <clears throat> All right, shirt out is situated. What's up, bro? How's it going, Brian? Cheers, mate. Uh, we do have a drink tonight, guys, that we are drinking. Usually we drink Miller Lite, but we have something a little bit different. It is Nobles. This is a cherry hard cider. It is a wonderful beer that tastes even better than Miller Lite. It is... Um, uh, six percent alcohol. Yeah, six point four percent alcohol. It's a cherry crisp tart. Tastes amazing. Tastes great. Uh, hey, Robert, how's it going? Just drinking. Me too, bro. Me too. Uh, having some good times. Good times. Um, so as you guys know, I posted a video yesterday of who or what bottles will be winning. So, number one person, whoever wins, will be getting um, four roses. Four roses will be the uh, number one winner, whoever wins that. Uh, and number two is going to be the Jim Beam Repeal Batch. Both are really, really wonderful drinks. And number one person, number two person, and then we'll go from there. Um uh, now, however, the video, the way I was going to do the giveaway kind of changed. Uh, I was going to be able to do the videos a little bit differently. I was going to be able to do the giveaway a lot better, but they shut that site down, so I had to find another one. Uh, hey, are you Heather Cook's brother? I am her stepbrother, yes. Uh, the So the way the giveaway works now is I created a doc or not really necessarily a document, but I copy pasted every single body's name that I could see on the subscriber list. If you are a subscriber and I could see your name, I typed it in and put it on this list. Um, it is a name generator. I'm going to be doing it off of my laptop, as you guys can see here. Uh, 
you might not be able to see the, the camera. I'm, however, we're gonna have to do it. But um, pretty much everybody's name. That's so weird. You can't see it. But everybody's name went into this block here, and then this green bar right here. I'm gonna click it, and it's gonna give me a name to be winning. Uh, really hate that you guys aren't really okay. like see that, see that. But we will still make it work. I promise. That's how that's gonna go. And everybody's name is there. There's so many names. It's ridiculous. It's awesome. We are at 155 subscribers as of right now. And uh, as of right now, I'm not going to be editing in names. But, guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, go hit that subscribe button and become part of this huge family. Uh, we grow every day, whether it's in numbers or in knowledge. We try new drinks, we taste new things, and we grow. That's what we do. That way you need to learn something new about something you might not have ever tried before, but now you're able to try it, you're able to give that shot. Uh, like we do, we're going to give this a little while for uh, everybody to get in here and get adjusted, and then uh, we will be doing the giveaway. Um, good luck, everyone. Good luck. Yes, good luck to everybody. Uh, my, my guy, how's it going, man? Ugh, this chair is so uncomfortable. I need to buy a new chair. Just need to buy a new chair. That's all it is. Uh, but like I said, well, tonight we're drinking. It is. It says it's a village tart, noble, hard cider. It's a sour. It, I love it. They're great. I love them so much. I myself tonight for um, the wonderful giveaway will be drinking uh, Monkey Shoulder. Awesome, awesome whiskey. So, cheers. We're going to be drinking that here in just a little bit. I'm good, man. Thanks. Awesome. Glad, glad. Um, we got to work on the Mustang a little bit earlier. Um, had to replace my oil sending unit for a little bit. It was uh, not wanting to hold the right idle pressure, and I had to uh, redo. Ray helped me redo that and get everything set up. Still got a few other things to get done, but we will nonetheless get those done. Uh And I feel sorry for you. She's my cousin by marriage. She's not that bad. <laughs> Never had it. It's awesome. It's great. Tastes great. It's beautiful. Um, when it comes to like weird beers, like um, crafts, I'm a more of a sour fan, tart fan. Uh. I'm not a huge fan of like the hoppier drinks or anything like that because they just have a real heavy taste that I'm not a huge fan of. But ah, I ran over my toe. Ow! Oh my god! Uh, and that was so weird that it did that at that time. Oh! Ugh! Oh! oh. Uh, them old units on the Mustangs always go bad. Mine did a few years back. Yeah, it was like when I was driving, I had normal pressure, but when I would come down to an eye to let a red light, I would drop down to like one or two pounds of pressure. Uh, so I went ahead and tried to – I'd done an old change just to make sure I wasn't like being negligent there. Uh, but – and then I checked my wiring, and the wiring ran over top – of my uh, power steering and AC pump, which was against my block and my valve cover, which was causing it to heat up really bad. And I think it's what was causing one of my bigger issues. So I re-ran the wire all the way down on the bottom underneath my power steering pump and pulley and pulled it up and over that way through the bottom. I like to have a Mustang. I own two. I have a 66 Coupe and a 89 Fox. Speaking of that, my buddy... Got me this shirt for my birthday, uh, so we're rocking it today. He just gave it to me earlier. It says American Fox Body. This is exactly what my car looks like. Uh, the wheels are the same. Everything is the same. So awesome. Thanks to uh, Ray and Mama for the T-shirt. You guys are awesome. Um, also, I'm going to do a video here soon in the car. Um, it's really, really dirty right now, but we'll, do a, we'll definitely do a video on it soon. I've had several other people ask me about it. Um, the first one that I'd done, it wasn't really that great of a video. Uh, I kind of juiced that one 
uh, I was as I dropped the camera and it rolled, and I was like, ah, I rolled the blue car, but I want to go be able to go over the car with you guys, talk about it a little bit more, and show you guys some more of the car. Um, love the shirt. Thank you, man. I love it too. It's comfortable, feels nice, smells new. It has that like fresh package smell. Oh, hurts. My finger's getting better slowly. Still burns really bad, but hey, it's all right. Live and learn. Low disk space. Nobody cares about that. <sighs> but again, like I said, I hope everybody's having a wonderful night. Uh, work's been fun. Finally, like I said uh, the other day, back in the shop. Having a great time tinkering on the cars and stuff again. But, but, you guys make it worth it to come home. That way I do my lives and make new videos. It's great. I love it. I'm actually really excited for the giveaway. It's the first one we've done. It was the third one we've done this year. Uh, we've done a giveaway at 50 subscribers. We've done a giveaway at um, 100. And here we are hitting 155 subscribers. And we haven't even been making videos for a year yet. Um, December 12th will be our one-year anniversary. So we're going to definitely go all out for that one, have some fun. Uh, I'm thinking I might just drink the very first drink that we've had on the channel, which I believe was Jim Bean regular or Red Stag. I can't remember. It was one of those two. And uh, I think it would be pretty awesome to just have like an annual drink every year on the 12th where we drink the same drink that we started with. I do enjoy the videos. Thank you, man. Thank you. I enjoy making them to help you guys out for something. Maybe you don't have to buy it. That way you get an opinion that's relative to something that's not the ingredients. Um, I have to bleed the brakes on my truck. I know I like bleeding brakes. It's kind of easy and simple, but sometimes at the same time, it's just a pain and it, it's just a headache sometimes too. Make sure they bleed right and they do it wrong and you put air back into it. And it's stupid and ridiculous and sucks. <laughs> oh. But I like tinkering with cars because it allows you to always do something different. Um, you never... Most of the time, you never really encounter the same issue twice unless you did it wrong the first time or got a defective prop or a pro, uh, defective part. Uh, so, like, or now that I work back in the shop, I just do oil changes and tires all the time. But it's always a different vehicle, stuff like that. So it keeps you like learning new things, and I love learning new things. So you learn how much oil certain vehicles take, their um, how many miles. You, like me, if I ever go out and buy a vehicle, I'll know how certain vehicles run when they hit certain mileages. And that's what really sets the difference, being able to test drive cars. I don't have to go to a dealership and test drive. I can just take the customer's car, go do a figure eight. When I get done with the vehicle, like I usually do, because so it's our process. You get a feel for the car, you get to taste, or taste, you get to try it and see if you like the seats, the comfortability, the ride, all that stuff. But we're going to pour, finish this up and pour us a glass of the uh, monkey shoulder and get this giveaway underway. <sighs> Such a sour drink. So again, like I said, we're drinking monkey shoulder night, guys. For me personally, that's what we're drinking. This is more like a celebration night. I'm excited for you guys to be able to be part of this with me. Um, I wish everybody could win, but obviously if I was that rich, um, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> but it's down to two people that can win. Um, like I said, the only way that you could win this is being subscribed to the channel and 155 of you sexy, amazing people are subscribed. So thank you for that. Um, this is like a every 50 subscribers I do this. It's like it helps me 
look back at you guys and it's like a thank you, an extra thank you to you. So, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this all the time. Uh, <coughs> but, I got a glass somewhere. Monkey shoulder. Uh, Monkey shoulder is one of those whiskeys that are kind of harder to find to get your hands on. Um, they're really sweet, have a, have a nice floral flavor to it that it hides the burn of the whiskey a little more, and it allows it to grow within the flavor. Um, it is a blended scotch whiskey, though. Anytime, bro. Glad to help you out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so it has that real earthy smell. But it doesn't have that real heavy um, ash smell like most of your scotches do. And it just smells wonderful. Alright. So, as we said before, let me get that on there straight. Uh, the first bottle that we will be giving is four roses um so this here is four roses we have done a taste test on this before it says four roses the legend of four roses paul jones jr the founder of four roses bourbon became smitten by a beautiful southern belle he spent a proposal he sent a proposal to her and she replied that if her answer were yes she were to a corsage of roses on her gown to the upcoming grand ball when she showed up the night of the ball in her beautiful gown, she wore a corsage of four red roses. He later named his bourbon Four Roses as a symbol of his devoted passion for the lovely Belle. Distilled and aged by Four Roses Distilling Company in Lynchburg, Kentucky. They also have a website, www.fourrosesbourbon.com. Four Roses, and they have four different drinks, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. 40% alcohol. Uh, 750 milliliters. Both of them are a fifth. Uh, wonderful drink. And so you guys can see for yourselves, uh, it is still closed. It is not opened by no means. It is still 100% securely closed. Um, Brian says, I've never had it, man. It, you're missing out. It is a wonderful whiskey. Smooth, soft, and has a great price range. Uh, Four Roses uh, this one, I believe, is around the $20, $25, $30 range. Um, it's not terrible for the buy, for the buy, uh, and it has a real smoothness to it that is just like the rose. It's very floral and very sweet. All right, so for the first person, we're going to go ahead. We try it. You guys aren't going to really be able to see the name. I wish you guys would be able to see the computer screen. I don't think the ring light would make a difference. No, the ring light doesn't make a difference. All right, so I apologize, guys. You're not going to be able to see how it rolls, but we will definitely click this together. So, like I said, it's a random name picker. I went through and I clicked everybody's name and I copy pasted it and I put it into this list here. There is a long, long list of people. But nonetheless, it is a list of awesome, awesome people because you guys are the best. I wish I would have gotten all 155. I'm not entirely sure if I did get all 155. Because it doesn't show me an actual number, and I didn't count. But I know there's a bunch of names here. A good probably 95% of you guys' names are on here. So, with that being said, number one winner is we're going to wait. We're going to jump into number two first, because how can you win the number one if you're in first, right? So, we're going to do number one second. Anticipation is great. I love it. Uh this is my favorite Jim Beam. This is what the number two person is going to win. I know half of you guys want to strangle me right now, but we're getting to it. I promise. I promise. Um, Jim Beam Repeal Batch. 
something that you can hardly get your hands on, but some when it's out, it's out for a bunch. Uh, it means they sell it a lot of it, uh, but you may not see it again for six or seven months or a year or two. But when it comes back, it's great. Uh, it's the 85th anniversary prohibition repeal. When it ended in December 5th, 1993, James Bean and his family rebuilt the distillery in just 120 days. This brought the Bean, Bean's family recipe to say some bourbon itself back to life. It's a limited edition the legacy. The quality is at 86 proof and non-chill filtered bean repeal batches inspired the way we made it right after the prohibition. That means... The nuisance of flavor gained through the interaction of the whiskey and the barrel remain for you to enjoy. Because it is not chill filtered, it will appear cloudy or contain a sediment at the bottom, just like it did back in the 30s. All right, guys, 43% alcohol, 86 proof, limited edition, prohibition, real tribute to the Jim Beam collection. Wonderful drink, wonderful bottle. And it's a great price as well. So the person that's going to win this one is the runner-up for first this year or this giveaway time, and that pick is where you go. Okay, so. By the odds of this, I'm, he won last time, so he's not going to win again. It says Coleman Barrett. Facebook, you can kind of see it. But he cannot. I'm not going to let you win again, Coleman. I want somebody new to win. Uh, Coleman's a friend of mine. We hang out, so I'm not going to let him win again. So we're going to re-win, re-roll for number two. Love you, buddy, if you see this. Love you, bye. All right, so we're going to pick another random name. All right, so the winner is of this one, Navy Seals, Alex Gaining. He is a friend. I uh, haven't talked to him in a while, actually. We went to high school together uh, almost a decade ago. So thanks for uh, the subscriber, buddy. Alex, I will message you. Uh, we will. I'll actually tag you in the thing below here in just a second. Uh uh, he may not be live. I think he's doing his own thing. All right. I tagged him in the thing on Facebook. It's, it's really hard to tag people on uh, YouTube. But, so that's the Jim Beam or Pill Batch. And, again, they could offer not to take it. But if I don't hear from said winner, we will definitely re-roll again. And it will still be up for game. Uh, I will give it three, two to three days for the people to be able to own up to it. And then we make some uh, type of grounding with it. If I don't get with the person and we don't make grounds or a way to send it off, meet up, then... We will definitely be re-rolling. Again, that is for the repeal batch, Jim Beam. Alex, your uh, Navy SEALs gaming account is the one that won the subscription uh, giveaway for the Jim Beam repeal batch. You wonderful, wonderful man. Cheers. That's so good. It is. It is a wonderful drink. Tastes great. Has a real smoothness to it that is awesome. Uh, hang on. Is there a request? Oh. <clears throat> These, these always make me nervous because I always feel like I want everybody to win. But, again, like I said, you can't have everybody win. And uh, never had it, too. It's awesome, man. There's a lot of uh, flavors of 
different everything that's going on in there at one time that really bond this drink together. A lot of the times when you're um, trying new drinks, you kind of overwhelm yourself with the aromas of it. But really deep down, the flavors really do change over time and over just periods of just tasting them at different situational appearances, I guess you could say. Whether it be on ice, whether it be neat like this where it has no ice, or whether it be mixed in something or something like that. Thomas says, hello, hello. Uh, but, again, Alex, um, if you are watching, man, message me on Messenger, and we will figure out how to get you your bottle and see what we can do about either doing a video or something like that. So, uh, for that, let me make a note. I'll take a picture of this one so I know for a fact. Right, there's that one. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go back up. And then we're not gonna jump right into the next one right yet. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna relax just a second, let everybody kind of simmer down. Before we jump right into our next one, I wish you guys could see it. You can kind of see it like that. Uh, it might just be my screen. Yeah, you guys can kind of see it like that. And he has a uh, channel of his own, if you can see that there. It is uh, Navy Seal underscore Alex Gaming. He does YouTube videos and uh, Twitch, I believe. And he makes a bunch of video game or does a lot of uh, video game gameplays. So that's also really cool if you want to check him out. Monkey shoulder is amazing. But again, to Alex, Repeal Batch, Jim Beam, as of right now, it's yours, my friend. Okay, what do we got next? All right. Go ahead. We'll leave that there just a little bit longer before we jump into the, the next giveaway. For anybody that's wondering on what I am drinking, I am drinking Monkey Shoulder at the moment. It is a wonderful, wonderful scotch blend. It tastes amazing. Amazing. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a wonderful and fun night. And I am. Definitely live a little later than what I have anticipated to be. Uh, I wanted to go live a little earlier today to really get this done. But I ended up, like I said, going over to my buddy's house, hanging out there for a little bit of a birthday get-together for me and the pretty lady. So it was fun, and I definitely enjoyed that and had a great time there. Uh, just playing on the four-wheeler, hanging out at the fire, doing car stuff. Going back over tomorrow and do some more car stuff. But until for then, something always breaks. It's always something. Okay. All right, without further ado, we're going to jump into the next bottle to give away. 
that's the one that's one of my favorites. I felt like uh, it's okay. I'm playing uh, two, NBA 2K21. Also, I've never really got into the basketball games really that much. I wasn't a huge fan. Uh, I played a little bit of um, football games and some NASCAR games when I was a kid, like 2005. But other than that, I haven't like played many sports games at all since then. I uh, didn't really enjoy them. So. I played wrestling, like WWE games a lot when I was a kid too. So it really kind of was a curveball. Uh, all right. So my favorite next bottle to give away is going to be, like I said, Four Roses, guys. We talked about this one already. I kind of threw you guys a loop. And then we ended up doing number two first instead of number one. So... This is for all the, the gambits and the shenanigans and everything else. This is the guy, the little lassie or the lad or whatever you want to call yourself, to win. Uh, I chose to do two people again this time because I feel like two being able to give away two bottles is better than just giving away one. Choosing one out of 155 is way – I mean, it's easy because I ain't got to choose. The computer does it for me. But – um it allows me to roll twice and have more uh, opportunities for other people to win other than just one person. Every 50 subscribers, I feel like this is just a uh, a better outlet of way of doing a giveaway. <clears throat> the NASCAR games were much better with a wheel. They were, and NASCAR games is almost what taught me how to drive a stick for the most part. Uh, I have the Black Mamba one. I have them, too. Okay. Sweet. But, all right. Nonetheless, we are going to be scrolling back up here off of this one. Do us a favor and answer three quick questions. No. All right. Let's go up. Okay. I'm going to take his name off of the list. He's not going to be able to win again. Ugh. All right. So, for all the Chief Jang Chabambits, hope you guys are ready. Pick a random number. All right. Scroll down together. Is Robinson Brooks? Is this a old one? What do, What do you mean by an old one? I'm pretty sure Rob is from my Facebook, and I know for a fact that he is. We deployed together. See if he's busy at the moment. Tag him in a thing. Uh, let's say, so what are you giving away? Uh, we hit 155 subscribers. So every 50 subscribers, I have been doing a giveaway uh, for the current subscribers at the time. Um, so today we give away two bottles. We give away four roses. And we gave away a Jim Beam Repeal Batch is what we're giving away. So, and then now we hit 150, so the next giveaway will be at 200 subscribers. Once we hit 200 subscribers, I'll put everybody's name back in the pot, and uh, we will roll again. I'm trying to push away. Can't win twice. That way it gives everybody an equal chance without really pressing it too far. Only 3W? What do you mean? So, again, Robinson Brooks is our number one winner. He won the giveaway of the Four Roses bottle. Wonderful flavor, wonderful taste, very sweet, very floral. Amazing bottle. 100% amazing. 
Wow, sounds cool. Thank you. Uh, I try to do what I can to give back to those who watch, and I feel like this is a really great outlet of way to give away. Every time we hit a real good milestone, I'd like to just give away or hand out or help support a somehow, some way back to the people that do watch and enjoy the videos. Congratulations to the winners from Brian Holt. Thank you, buddy. Uh, like again, guys, it's terrible. I wish everybody could win, but again, not everybody can win. So uh, as nitty gritty as it gets down to, those were the winners. Alex won and Rob won. Robinson, Brooks, wonderful, wonderful group of winners. Thank you guys for the subscribers and the subscriptions to the channel. You guys are awesome. And I will be messaging both of you after this. Let me take another picture of this one to make sure we get them right. There's that one. That way it keeps up with it. Um, and that allows me to see everybody that wins everything else. And I know both of them, I'm about positive are over the age of 21. Uh, a lot of my video watchers are over the age of 21, mostly because of my video settings. Um, you kind of almost have to be. I think it's like 18 is the, le the legal age to watch my videos because now you have to automatically set them and uh, tune them to your channel right before you upload the video. So it's kind of reluctant and redundant, but hey, it is what it is. And we do what they tell us to do. But again, guys, like uh, Brian said, congratulations to the two winners. I wish there could be more, so many more, but those are the two that we have, and those are the two that won, and I am grateful that they won, and congratulations. Woo! And who doesn't like free stuff? I mean... Even if you're not subscribed, go subscribe to the channel and hit the subscribe button and become part of the family because it's free to subscribe. And who doesn't love having the opportunity to win something free and free alcohol of that? So, um, granted, I'm not sure if that's legal to say or not, but as long as you're over the age of 21, um, I can give you the alcohol. If you're under the age of 21, do let me know. And we will talk about it and figure out another uh, gift or opportunity. Uh, and we will redraw. If either one decides they do not want the bottles, we will definitely redraw. If either one decides that they would rather gift their bottle to somebody else, we will also redraw. Um, I will keep this tab up on my computer. That way, if it does go back into where we, both have, we have to redraw for both or redraw for one, we can and we will. Uh, just to make sure it all goes fluently and great. So, again, a million times over. Congratulations to the winner. We're going to set this over here to the side. Out of my ways. And that's a huge, like, relief because you always worry. Thanks, bro. Not a problem. You always worry. Like, I, I worry over worry about everything and I don't ever like want to make anybody on here mad. I try to keep it, try to keep it um, clean, nice, fun, entertaining where everybody can talk, everybody can have fun. I don't want to make nobody mad because I know some people get mad. Like, I didn't win. That's rigged. I don't care. I don't rig anything. I've had people accuse me of drinking water instead of vodka or water instead of mountain water. And, like, no, that's not how that works. I'm as honest as it comes. Um, if you don't win, I'm sorry. I really, I truly am. Uh, like I said, I wish everybody could win. But it always comes down to two. There can only be two winners in this type of thing. Uh, but I'm still going to post videos every single day. And we're going to go live three times a week. Because that's what we do. And we do this to have fun and to be knowledgeable and learn things. I mean, granted, I know a lot of some people are probably here for free stuff. But at the end of the day, I hope you guys just genuinely enjoy the videos also. Um, Brian says, it's okay. I'll keep watching your videos. Thank you, man. You're the best. 
You are the best. But we're going to ready to jump back into our next beer. I really don't want to finish this drink because monkey shoulder tastes so good. <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> I've seen that after I took my drink. I'm excited to see our next goal. Um, I know how pushy it sounds, but hey, I'm ready to see 200. <laughs> uh, 200 subscribers will be the next giveaway. Um, we're going to jump right back into it. You want to win the giveaway and you're watching, hit the subscribe button. That's the only way to win. Uh, I put everybody's name into the pot. You get the same equal opportunity chance to win as anybody else that has the subscribe button hit. If you're watching on Facebook and want to subscribe, go check out YouTube at Justin Hallman. You'll find me right here. If you're watching on YouTube, not sure where it's at if you're watching, but if you're reading the comments, hit that little X button. You should see subscribe. If you're not reading comments and you just have me in the background, it should just be chilling there. Um, either way, if you're watching from Facebook, you'll know it's me. Uh, if you type in Justin Hallman on YouTube, I'll be the guy in the overalls. With the white tank top. <laughs> I'm sure you'll recognize who I am if you watch me and you know me, but that's where I'll be. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, coming and hanging out tonight. We're not ending the live, so don't worry about that. We're still going to be hanging out for a little bit a while longer and having fun because that's what we do. We have fun and we do stuff. Um, what's my Facebook? It is just my name. Same as my YouTube. It's my real name. Uh, if you want to find my Facebook, it is attached to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you go to my page, it should be linked with my Instagram page as well. Um, I don't post a lot really on either one of them. Um, I can't tell you the last time I posted on my Instagram, but Facebook is where like you can contact me a lot better uh, and be able to like offer drinks and everything else like that. Oh, yeah. I um, also have a Snapchat. Uh, it is peanut something. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Um, is it? I don't think I have it on this phone anymore. Pretty sure I got rid of it on this one. Yeah, got rid of it off this phone. Um, can't remember what it is. Next time we'll have it written down, and I'll tell you guys my Snapchat if you guys are interested in that. Um, I post kind of a lot on Snapchat. I take pictures of what I do daily and everything else like that, so it's fun. Dead Peanut. <laughs> yeah, so I got the nickname Peanut when uh, I got into the military. Um, we were at a training thing. And I was the youngest guy at the time, and one of the older gentlemen was like, hey, Peanut, and it stuck. And I got called Peanut uh, for my entire six act years of my military career, and it's kind of like a little nickname that some odd name people call me. Um, it's like Jeff Dunham. It is. And oddly enough, Peanut is my most favorite Jeff Dunham character ever He's kind of like me. We have the same personality. We're crazy. We're fun. We have a lot of... We don't care what nobody says. We're going to do us, and we're going to have fun no matter what people do. <laughs> uh, Peanut is an amazing character with, for Jeff Dunn. But cheers to a wonderful drink, to a wonderful giveaway, and congratulations to the winner. We're going to grab a beer. <sighs> Thank you for your service. I love Jeff. I love him, too. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I love Jeff Dunham. He's so funny. Him, I watch Gabriel Iglesias a lot, and I watch, um, uh, can't think of his name, 
He's a bigger dude, doesn't wear a t shirt. He's always half, he's always shirtless. And then the midget man. I, I watch all of them a lot. I think the midget guy's name is Chad. Now I got to find with that one. It's like I flicked it earlier and I don't know where it went. No matter what I do, there's pretty lady hair everywhere. Ugh. I've seen fluff in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm jealous. That would be awesome. I live in North Carolina, so that would have been pretty cool to go see. I mean, that's the great thing about living in, like, the Charlotte area of North Carolina is I could take a four-hour trip to the trip to the beach or I could take a four-hour trip to the mountains and have either one or I could stay where I'm at and have a wonderful fall, spring, and everything else. Wonderful location. Um, it was awesome, but the beer was high. Yeah, that's what I really hate about certain venues and stuff is, like, they definitely overprice their alcohol every time, and they know they do because people are going to buy it, and of course they're going to buy it because they want something to drink to while they're having fun and they're laughing. And I understand that, but I still think there should be a point drawn where too much is too much. <laughs> but uh, I can't even tell you the most I've paid for a beer. Oh, I had a I had a flight last night for my, for my dinner. And it was 10 bucks, and that was five drinks. So, I mean, this one here is a local brew. This one's from Asheville, North Carolina. Not really local to me, but it's not too far away if I ever wanted to drive there. Tastes great, though. Wonderful, wonderful taste. Gluten-free, made with real ingredients and premium cider. So smooth and wonderful to drink, though. First time I've had it in a can. Every other time I've had it, it has been in a uh, bottle. Can't say the bottle tastes a little better, but can's decent too. It says she's everything you'd expect. Sweet like a cherry and sharp like a tack. She puts a luster in the dullest mood. Tart Montmorency, I don't know, cherries. Tart cherries melded with tart apples for a delightful addition to any occasion, just sweet enough. That's pretty cool. Where was I eating at? Um, last night we ate at a place called the train station. I got beers for $2.50 each for a long neck. And I got a flight, which is our, they had five different drinks there for their flight, and it was $10. And I had a rack of ribs on two pounds of pulled pork with a lot of fries. And she had a massive burger and a bunch of fries and a side. And it, our drinks, our drinks and our food was $48. And that's for my two beers, my flight, my massive amount of food, her massive amount of food, and everything. $48. And then we left like a $20 tip. Because the lady was great. So we spent like $60. Bucks. Well, I about messed. I about messed all up. I was drinking from this end. I about poured that all the way down my body. Uh, what state are you in, Brian? I know, I think Michael from earlier, he told me, I think he lives in Indiana. Kentucky? Ah, I envy you. I want to go to the distilleries in Kentucky so bad. So, so bad. <clears throat> If I ever come down that way, me, me and the pretty ladies wanting to go uh, state hopping here soon, we would have to definitely link up or something.
I love tasting new things or like trying new distilleries, trying uh, new local brews and stuff like that. So I am all for it. Let me know when you do. All right, man. Uh, cause uh, it can't be too far from here. Let's see. So that's it's a six hour drive. So for me to get to the Jim Beam Distillery, if I wanted to go there, is only four hundred and like thirty miles. It's only like six hours from here. Uh, so that is a easy trek. That's a one day trip. Uh, I don't mind driving, but we would that would be definitely something fun to do because I could take off. I could drive out there like a Thursday evening and then uh, hang out a weekend and then drive back on a Sunday. That would be an awesome little weekend trip. Okay, was you able to find me on Facebook? Did you look? If you added me, I'll go on there and add you back. I want something nice to listen to before we the want to end this. What do we want to listen to? Listen to do da do da do. Give me something to listen to. Listen to do da da do da do da do. What is this? Uh, Eric Church. I wish. I wish I could. Um, YouTube. And Facebook would mute me if I did that. I'm going to be one of those people, and we're going to do Christmas. I like my fair share of country music and stuff. Um, but the way Facebook is and the way YouTube is, um, they won't allow me to... Um, play their music i'll get muted like almost facebook will meet me like within 30 minutes i don't know how long it would take for youtube but they um they mute the whole period where that song is being played is muted so you wouldn't be able to hear anything i say so dumb granted i understand people need and want to make their own money but kind of Need a break a little bit. Uh, I've seen him a concert. That's awesome. Eric Church has a lot of really good music. I have his Pandora station. Me and Pretty Lady was supposed to go to um, the Rebellion this year, but ended up not because COVID sucks, and we ended up not being able to go do that. Uh, and then we was wanting to go do something else, we weren't able to do that because COVID. This year's just sucked so, so, so bad. <sighs> Red, white, and boom in Lexington, Kentucky.
Oh, okay. Oh, that was just last year. That's pretty cool. That it does, it can't get back to work. What uh, has COVID kept you out of work? See, I work at Walmart, so Walmart's never going to shut down. So, I mean, that and they pay me decent, so can't complain. Ugh. I have people that work with me a lot, so I'm not going to discuss how much money I make, but I make nice money. I make good money. Oh, so you, you wrestle for money? Like, uh, you do the amateur wrestling or something? Indie wrestling. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm, I just work on... I work at Automotives with Walmart, and I pretty much just do old changes and tire work there. Uh, before that, I was an engineer for the Army National Guard, and uh, worked a bunch. I got a, I got a degree. I don't use my degree, but... Got one. In Kentucky, that's pretty cool, though. I wrestled in high school, or middle school a little bit. I didn't wrestle in high school. I played football in high school and wrestled in middle school. Wrestling just kind of went my thing. Oh, man. Ba -ba bam ba -ba bam Oh, okay. My hands look stiff. I need to check my schedule stuff too because it just they just sent me a message earlier. All your scheduled shifts have been changed. Of course they have. <sighs> Christmas music like this is just so soothing. Nonetheless, guys, I hope you had a. I'm on YouTube. Sweet. Uh, is it with this channel? Um. Well done. Um. If you have me on Facebook, you can send me the link, and I'll watch whatever you have. I'll definitely watch it. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, it is that time. We're hitting up on that one hour mark, just shy of it. Um, the giveaway went great. Thanks to everybody that watched and come out and hung out and had a great time. Uh, message me and I'll send it to you. All right, man. Not a problem. Uh, I hope you guys had a wonderful night. I had a wonderful night. The giveaway went great. Uh, Everybody that showed up, hung out, chatted, talked, you guys have been awesome on both sides, Facebook and uh, YouTube. Uh, as always, YouTube, you're a little 
easier to get to, so we're going to be ending it with you guys first. So, as usual, as always, cheers. <sighs> ah, tastes great. And may we always learn something new every day or grow every day. My name's Justin. Hit that subscribe button below, become part of the family, and grow with me. Till later, till next time. Till tomorrow, another brand new video and a new taste. Till later, I'll see you then, guys.